Hello and welcome to our Gold participants from around the world. Welcome to our Gold Midwifery Online Conference for 2017. Today I have the pleasure of sitting down with our keynote presenter, that is Deborah Pascali Bonero. Welcome, Deborah. It's fantastic to have you here today. It's such a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. Well, I'm so excited. You're going to be talking about moving from power, pain to power with passion and pleasure. Um, so what a great topic. And I've had the pleasure of engaging with lots of your material in the past and pointing a lot of my clients to your information, Deborah. It's just wonderful. And so I'm excited that you're here as our keynote presenter. But I have some questions for you. So I just want to start off by asking you a little bit about well, I want you to introduce yourself to our listening audience today and then maybe tell us a little bit about why you became interested in this topic. Oh, thank you, Fiona. I have to say my interest in pleasurable, passionate birth is really a lot about who I am because as a little girl, um, I was really blessed to be around my great-grandmother, my grandmother, and my mother, and they talked about birth with such joy, such power, such an accomplishment that even growing up, I just looked forward to the day that I would give birth with real joy, and I was blessed that there was no fear. So when I had my first child, I went into birth just so excited for the experience, and although there certainly were challenges in it, I really felt that I overcame them and had this incredibly ecstatic birth. And that led me on to become a childbirth educator. And before I knew it, I was being invited to births. Even before I knew the word doula, I was being a doula. And from then, actually officially became a doula and a doula trainer with Dona International and a childbirth educator with Lamaze International, and have gone on to chair the International Mother-Baby Childbirth Initiative. So many opportunities to not only personally support women and their partners in birth, but to work all around the world, uh, teaching and interacting and working on improving models. And the more that I worked with people, the more that I saw that this joy, pleasure, ecstasy, orgasmic energy and orgasmic birth was really the best kept secret. People weren't talking publicly about it, but boy, when I was with them at a birth, this language flowed, or when we got into conversation. So all of a sudden, I realized this can't be a secret anymore. We need to really bring this out. So for me, it was really an evolution. But I am so excited to be sharing this topic with all of you today. It's no secret no more. No, oh, that's for sure. And uh, we're so glad that you have become the voice behind all of this, Deborah. It really has been wonderful to watch your journey unfold and all the things that you have done over the years. Can you maybe just touch on a few of the highlights in, in the time that you've been teaching? You know, maybe some of the discoveries that you've found even yourself, because in the very beginning, I know that, um, you know, like you said, it, you know, for you, it just really wasn't being spoken about. But as you started to talk to more mothers and talk to more educators, what did you discover for yourself um, that were perhaps some of the highlights or some of those great moments in, in your teachings? Well, and I think some of it was that there were all these people and all cultures of the world. Like initially, you know, you think it's, okay, it's my little community and I'm here in northern New Jersey and this is happening. But as I started traveling and the more countries I went to, I was pretty shocked that this was really universal and that people were craving, like literally craving the opportunity to talk and that women in particular really wanted to tell this and felt they had no one to tell to. I would find women in audiences around the world, some that were bold enough to raise their hand in a group and say, I had a pleasurable, ecstatic, or orgasmic birth, and I never told anyone, and I'm so happy to be here. But 
there were so many people that waited till the room was empty. And I could tell that they were waiting to be the last one there. And they came up to me and cried and thanked me for bringing this up because they had been in shame that they had felt pleasure in birth. Um, they hadn't told their partners, they hadn't told anyone. And that was like surprising to me. And as I started to give voice to that, it was great to bring this to educators, to midwives, to doctors, and then again see the response that um, even many of our caregivers, we haven't been comfortable to give voice to this. And others were the same. They couldn't wait to share either their own story that was personal, or many people said, you know, I had this client and I couldn't believe it and I never thought about it again till, till you were speaking. So really, it's been this kind of undercover thing that we've all needed permission to talk about. We've all needed permission to say that birth is a part of our sexual life and by not talking about it, by not honoring it, we've done a disservice to, I think, all, all of us from ourselves as caregivers and giving voice to our own connection to birth and sex, but certainly in how we pass this on and how we allow women and men to experience birth in a whole way. Wow, that's just beautiful. So many things are just highlighted there for me and listening to you and saying that, you know, it is true, Deborah. I feel like you really did give this a voice for those that couldn't perhaps speak before and for some of us who just didn't know where the community was to speak to this. So that that's just fantastic. I just love, love hearing that. And I'm so looking forward to, again, having you speak to this at our, as our keynote for midwifery. Can you perhaps just touch on what you're most excited about sharing to those that perhaps haven't delved into this topic or for some of us that know a little bit about it? What, what are you most excited about highlighting in your session? Well, I really want to go deeper into that connection of pain and pleasure. How, how do we perceive both of them? How do we move to opening up and talking about sexuality and identifying our own comfort zone as caregivers with that? And I really hope what people will come out with is really a language for this discussion, new tools that they can bring to their clients and to themselves, because I always say we birth the way we live, so we need to find that bits of pleasure in our own life every day, and I hope that my presentation will be pleasurable just to be a part of and open up some, I won't give them all away, but some fun things that I have in store for you. And I really hope that your toolkit, if you consider it a toolkit, is expanded and enhanced. And even if you've already been including pleasure and passion and sensuality and sexuality, I hope that it will be expanded because this is an area that I think really needs a voice out in the world and it certainly needs us as caregivers to be adding that voice to our practice. Well, that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Deborah Pascali Bonera. It has been an absolute pleasure sitting down with you here today just to hear a little bit of a snippet of what's going to be coming up here at our Gold Midwifery Online Conference keynote presentation. Please go to our website at www.goldmidwifery.com to find out the local time for you that Deborah is going to be presenting. So thank you again, Deborah, for sitting down with me here today. Thank you so much. It's really a pleasure to be here, and I'm really looking forward to meeting everyone that's going to join us, and I have some secrets in store, so it's going to be fun. Well, that's so exciting. Thank you so much for that again, Deborah, and thank you to our listening audience. Bye-bye for now, everyone.